Day 62, the tensions are running sky high on the set of Love and Thunder because this mood is at an all time low. I'm about to go and help pick up the spirits with my bubbly, energetic personality. This is 10 years for me. I'd have loved every time I played the character. This new film transitions us from endgame into a rebirth. Thor doesn't know what his place is in the universe. <laughs> That's represented in his wardrobe as well. I was really excited to come back as the Mighty Thor and get to share the mantle. What are you wearing? I love it. <laughs> to have both of us in the same cape. <laughs> um, that was amazing and incredible, especially with Taika at the helm. Taika, he's like a big kid. He's like a sort of a genius child. It wasn't afraid to be flamboyant and a bit camp. Hi. Woo! Three, two, one, scream! Giant goats! Look at those! They are wonderful! Yes, they are. They also scream quite a lot. It's hugely imaginative and fun. It's such an enormous scale. It's a crazy space adventure with a new villain who's pretty monstrous. Oh, God, she will die. We really raised the bar with Ragnarok. Love and Thunder is even more unique and different, so it's pretty exciting.